Hans of Lazine. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a wear test of Oma Beauty's um, Say What Weightless Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation and the Stay Woke Concealer in T1C uh, White Pearl. In my first impressions, I had Fair Lady, which was not my shade. So I have actually used this a few times since then, since I purchased the right shade. Uh, the old one went to my sister because it actually was her shade, so she's using that. But I have been using it a few times, but I haven't done like an actual like wear test where I like actually pay attention to how the foundation wore over the few days, because I just have not been in like a YouTube or beauty blog mindset for a while. So let me do that today. And then I'm also gonna film another video for you guys as well, using another one of their palettes, the Oma Beauty. But I have on already the Tarte uh, Timeless Smoothing Primer, in case you guys were wondering. So I'm going to just get some of this foundation on the back of my hand. About two and a half pumps worth. Then we'll get to applying it with the Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. Hopefully soon we have a different setup for filming. Because I am planning on moving, so don't mind weird angles while I have no mirror. So if I'm blocking it, I apologize. Okay, I think we're all blended out. I'm gonna do concealer next. Which I find interesting that this is darker in a way, or a little bit more peachy ish than the foundation. It's not like a brightening one. Alright, there is the initial application. I'm going to go do the rest of my makeup off camera and then we'll be right back. Alright, makeup is all done. I did a video of how I did the eye look today. Um, that will have already gone live for you guys. So it was, I think, two days ago that video went up. So if you want to see it, check it out. It's, I'll have it in the description box. But it is currently 11.30. So, now that we have it done, I got done with the foundation part at like 11ish. So, this has been on for 30 minutes. Uh, taking a look at how all everything looks. It looks nice. It doesn't look makeup-y anywhere. It looks pretty much like your skin, but slightly better. Um, not complete full coverage. I saw a few spots are coming through here, but it's not like anything crazy. It did conceal like all of my pimples. This spot is never really ever going to be hidden by like any foundation ever. It's um, my, my, my little beauty mark, but I think it looks pretty nice and it's sitting nicely on my skin. Well, I'll do check-ins throughout the day as it were, since we're doing a wear test. Um, to kind of show you guys how it is all sitting. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Well, for you it will be in a second, for me it will be a few hours. And we'll go over what I think of the foundation at that point. Alright, it's about 2.30ish at this point. I'm just doing a quick check-in. It's not settling anywhere. I did a clip from downstairs with natural light too. But, this week turns over mirrors. It's a little broken up here, but I blew my nose, so. I wouldn't say that it's like the foundation's fault. It's not settling anywhere. I don't really see too much creasing on the lower lash line. So overall, it's sitting good so far. At about the 
what is it, 11, 12, one, four hour mark. We're still looking good. I'll check in with you guys in a bit. All right, we're at eight o'clock, which is about the nine hour mark. This is what we're looking at. The foundation, this is actually how long it's going to be wearing the makeup today. I do not want to wear it any longer. I'm tired and I just am done with makeup for the day. But besides where I blew my nose earlier, that's the only spot where it's missing foundation, but that's because I basically pulled it off. The skin up here doesn't seem exaggerated. Lines non existent there. I've had the pure foundation was the last one I tried out. That cracked here, and this one isn't doing that. Still looks very skin like. Just going towards a mirror here. Mm -hmm. A little bit of dryness, patchiness, or breakup here. Actually, only really aware that I'm seeing. Otherwise, everything looks exactly like it did when I put on my makeup earlier this today. And I don't remember putting on a setting spray. Yeah, I didn't put a setting spray. I just realized that. So I think this held up really nice. So, so far this foundation is getting a massive thumbs up from me. I'm really liking it. It looks good on my skin, I think. And yeah, that's what we're at. So I'm gonna go. Hope you guys all liked the video. If you did, give this video a massive pause up. Subscribe to the Hall Pack, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye!